Yo, people, and welcome to the latest episode edition, whatever you want to call it, of Through a Different Lens podcast. I'm your co-host, Joe. I'm Dej. And I'm Jacob. How we doing, guys? How we doing? All okay, man. Trust me. All all okay. Good. It's going to be a serious episode. (laughs) Weather's killing us, but my goodness. um, Other than that... Your car was frosted this morning, isn't it? Bro, my car's frosted this evening. <laughs> <laughs> In the space of what, 30 minutes? Yeah, it was nah. just, you know when the doors even, the doors were, Ooh. yeah, to open it was frosty that way, so. How was yours today? Yeah, my whole wind, like the whole thing was frosted over, but my door was all right though. Mm. Yeah, no, it was when I pulled the door and it went, oh yeah, it's, it's real, real cold today. It's real, real cold now. It's taking a drastic change though, I don't understand it. Bro, because even I was <laughs> I was saying to Dej, oh no, actually, when I called you outside, mm. I was like, should I wait for you? And you were like, oh, I'm five minutes away. We both, yeah, I said, nah. Nah, it's too no cold. Way, five minutes in the cold. It's long. Too, too cold to wait outside. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, how, we, how we doing? Do you know what I mean? Um, obviously, early recording this week, um, which I've got used to. Kind of like them. Mm. Gives us time to, to prep when we actually do publish and all that jazz. But, um, yeah, how was you guys' weekends and all that stuff? All okay, man. Just same old recovery for me because obviously I'm injured still. So just recovering. Um, had the scan on Friday. So, yeah, just road to recovery. Hopefully you can make the FA Cup next weekend. Um, yes. That's, that's what we're looking towards. Um, but if we can't, then we can't. Obviously, it's football at the end of the day. So, um, But, yeah, hopefully I'm looking to get back for that game uh, recovery wise and just doing everything possible I can this is kind of a little break from recovery and then back in tomorrow morning back to back to it really yeah yeah that's the only thing when you're injured just more or less have to go in more or go in early and you'll yeah. have longer days mm-hmm. etc like just for argument's sake if training started at 10 because you're injured you'll be in at what time uh well I'm in tomorrow 8 a.m yeah so we, 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 we're in at 9.30, but we're in an hour and a half before the boys, everyone else, because you go to see the physio, go through the treatment stuff. Then you go, then you go eat breakfast and then you got to attend meetings at the same time as everybody else. So you got to mm-hmm. do everything before. And then while they're training, you'll be going out to, going down to the gym, doing your rehab stuff, maybe getting ultrasounds if you need to go elsewhere for treatment. Um, so you're, you're all over the place when you're injured, but it's your own journey. It's your own battle, really. So you kind of forget team play at that time and then you just go on your your own kind of sabbatical, as you call and it. And would your day end at the same time as the boys training or oh, just after, isn't it? Usually, usually a lot after. Oh, so okay. A lot after? Yeah, yeah, because they'll be, if they start, if they go out to train, at, we, they go out to train at 10, 30, 11. Um, I'll then go to, down to the gym at that time. Mm. But training is only a specific length of time. You get what I mean? Where my oh, gym yeah, session yeah, is yeah. extensive. Then I've got to come back and do the treatment that I've done in the morning again. Um, so they'll be probably showering when I'm coming back to get my last round of treatment. So you'll probably start an hour earlier and then probably leave an hour later than everyone else. Mm-hmm. Um, I, didn't even, I didn't even know that. Yeah. And then when you, and then when you go home, you're Long still days. doing Long the recovery when stuff. Because you've got to do the game ready when you go home. Yeah. Um, you're still icing when you're at home. You're still trying to work at work through pain when you're at home. So, yeah, the days are just longer because the treatment, remember there's, you also have to, the boys that are fit have to get treatment in terms of rubs, massages and That's stuff true. for training. Yeah. So they're really, they're the priority during the training hours, outside <coughs> training hours, like from eight till 9.30, I'm the priority. Then from like 9.30 to 11, they're the priority. Mm-hmm. 11 to about one, I'm the priority again. And after that, when they come back in, they're the priority. So when you're fit, you're kind of the priority because you're on the pitch. Um, so we have our priority hours. It's just you have to be there for your your, <laughs> your hours. <laughs> really. Cool. So yeah. yours yours is yours has been basically just recovery. Yeah. What about recovery. you, guys? What about you, guys? In the over there, do you know what I mean? Nah. First off, shout out my shift workers because mm. every day is a working day. You get me. And what Saturday, Sunday been at work man been at work throughout mm. so ain't really had a chance to watch any games the only the only game I managed to watch was obviously AFCON first half Nigeria and Equatorial Guinea mm. that's the only game I've actually watched, sat down and watched mm. and that was on my break no, okay fair <laughs> nice 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 yeah. fair 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 and I've had to sleep early as well so yeah. 
ain't really had much time to do anything. No, that makes but sense. Other than that, yeah, it's, it's been all right though. It's been cold, but it's been all right. Yeah, the cold mornings must be. Ooh, Jesus! Yeah. Literally, there was one day last week. I think I would plan to go into the office, and the way it was cold, like even in my house, everything. I was like. There's no motivation to get up. Because mm. usually I schedule the heating to come on at a certain time. And I forgot um, we, someone or myself, we might have taken it off schedule, innit? Mm. So I was like, usually when my alarm goes off, the house will be warm, innit? Mm-hmm. It was cold, Disha. And I was actually like fully like alert, not snoozing alarms, nothing. I was like, I'm not going in. <laughs> I checked the weather. It was all minus. I said, bond this. Mm. I was like, I ain't. I ain't slipping um, <laughs> when I'm already cold to then get, nah, 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 yeah. nah. Whereas if I'm warm, I can confirm it. Like, man, nah, 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 nah. But <laughs> yeah, it just made me then think, I, like in future Januaries, I want to start traveling to warm countries. Mm. Cause January here. Hell, hey. hell. Yeah, it's not easy, man. It's not easy. I started to think like that as well. Like, <laughs> where can I go in January just yeah. to catch some sun for a week or two? Literally a few days, I'll then be satisfied. Like, oh, nah. Like your heat and bill, everything just rising, rise, and you got no choice. But you have to, you have yep. to firm it going up mm-hmm. <laughs> at that period of time because you know summer will balance it out. But yeah, no, nah, <laughs> the way it's cold now. I think we need to protest as a country. You know, <laughs> everyone, yeah, should not pay their bill. Everyone should not pay their bill just yeah. for one month, and let's see what happens. All it takes is one person to pay their bill, and then look what then, happens. Then we'll be screwed. But let's let's yeah, yeah. let everyone not pay their <laughs> bills, fam. I don't know about that. One. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it takes: a one person to not pay their bill, and you're done. Yeah. We're not like we don't protest well here. No, nah, we don't, man. We need to we need to start moving like France. Yeah, they they when they protest, they <laughs> protest. We don't we don't do much here, but we just you know we accept it. I mean, we're an accepting country. Are they putting just up the bills? Okay, cool. Because yeah. you know that price of petrol has still hasn't gone down, you know, from from the from the fuel crisis that happened. Was it last year or the year before? Mm. I was like, shit. I'm now year before because 20, 2024, but I feel it was probably like late twenty twenty two at some point or something. Because I might highest, be wrong. The but. highest in that time went up to like one like one fifty or something like that. Even though it went higher than that later on in the year, but it was but before that it was like one twenty. Mm. Yeah. I remember during lockdown, that was the best time for petrol, but no one was going nowhere. Oh, that was so sick. It was 99p. <laughs> Jeez. 99p for petrol. Good times. Well, even like even 45 pounds. You know, I've, 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 that's times. the thing. But I think we're, we're reading the, the effects of that now. Yeah. Definitely. Practically just, everything from COVID. Yeah. <laughs> reading the effects. Basically. So everything's just shot up. Go to Tesco, you buy three items, 25 pounds. <laughs> but you can't go like honestly <laughs> as though you go just go carry your club card have it on your phone yeah you know what i mean still with a club card you know sometimes i'm tapping nah. the screen and i'm thinking sometimes you're gonna think oh i'm gonna get bad discount here you, you scan s- your club card says like, one two, pound yeah 125 yeah, the generally there but like if you go into superstores you actually see the difference if you're doing a big shop yeah but bro deodorant now sure deodorant is costing me three pound ten when Tesco, yes, in general, bro. three pound ten, three times for short deodorant. Yes, my brother. You you see got... when people start stealing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't say anything. Hey, <laughs> uh, listen. Anything these lads have said, I do not. Con- I agree. I do not no, no. Condone. He condones I, it. One hundred percent. No, I do not co-sign. <laughs> don't, don't, don't let him lie to you. We are all our own individuals. <laughs> you get me? If, if you slide one show in his pocket, he's not going to stop you. Listen, listen, <laughs> bro. Listen, three listen. pound ten for deodorant. <laughs> I was thinking about it the other day. Uh, now, now that's going to after we finish recording, that's going to make me check like on Amazon because usually I'll just do my orders there. Yeah, and see bro. If there's a price difference. Oh, on Amazon. Yeah, majority of time, it's like. If I want to bulk buy, that, you know? yeah, bro, Amazon's practically got near enough anything. So, See, even like, like even my roll on deodorants was it last week or two weeks ago? It stocked up on them. How much you pay? Um, I genuinely can't remember, but I f- did feel like it was cheaper than shop, or it was it was a specific roll on that I I used. Yeah. It? So I was like, I've got it before. Bang, I was fine with the price, and then what else? I feel like I ordered something else with it, but I couldn't remember. But yeah, stuff like that now. It's only if it's a last minute desperate thing, then I'll go into the shop and get it. Mm. So I'll tell you what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start shopping in m and I've started doing that. Do you know why? It's cheaper, man. Because I may as well. No, oh, I, bro, I may as well just shop for quality. I'm just going to shop in m and yeah. religiously. Some, some of the things are actually cheaper. It's true. <laughs> I have been shopping in m and recently, but I usually go in for certain things. 
Like if you want cereal, you want like some some dilute, some <coughs> some veg. <coughs> It's becoming cheaper than Sainsbury's. We are now. set. You see Sainsbury's? That shop can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be so Sainsbury's real. even got Nectar card. Does not do absolute anything. Sainsbury's oh can't see me. That shop there. <laughs> like Tesco, I'll bump. ride. I'll ride for the club card. Sainsbury's, yeah. I'll, their Nectar card is. Sainsbury's charging one pound twenty for nine biscuits. <laughs> nine sweet. bourbon biscuits. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Bourbon uh, biscuits, bro. Sainsbury's at fifty p. Sainsbury's bourbons, they don't even have the two, you know how like all the other ones got the two the side, two, the two rows. The two rows. Sainsbury's got one row, you know. Yeah, they've been having one row. It's, it's a bump. Mm. How you have one row and it's more expensive? And there's the quality of your biscuits less. I didn't know you like bourbons though. Yeah, man, biscuits. I'm a bourbon fan. Oh, six, six. Yeah. You, you like your biscuits in yeah, general, right? That's, yeah. that's me. Malted milk. Bro, ask this yeah, guy. Yeah. He, when's the last time you ate? Oh, 11 a.m. Yeah, today. But he'll be eating biscuits. Yeah. When's the last time you ate, though? Today. Uh, <laughs> nah, free or something like I'll that. I'll put him on the spot. Free and have some malted milks after. That's probably the latest that we've heard on a day that we're recording. <laughs> that's so yeah, true. Yeah, free man. today. Free today. I'll eat something when I go home. Nah, that's fair. Yeah, that's nah. Just... The cost of living, I don't know what this country's on, what these right. supermarkets are on, but as Dej said, if people start stealing... Don't say, don't say nothing. Don't say bro. anything. Just be like, I understand. <laughs> you shouldn't do it, but I understand. <laughs> Because the new one pound is one pound twenty five, and the soon it's going to be one pound fifty. Nah, the new one pound is two pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when you watch yeah, it, it's, 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 everything like you see that, that you that pound, it don't go nowhere. No, I went to Sainsbury's today. Yeah, you went to the wrong shop. It was the only one that was there. I saw, you know, the Lipton iced tea, mm. the bottle, five hundred mil, two pound something. Yeah, they're buying it. Since when did it cross over to to over the two pound one? Yeah, they're buying it. Two pounds for shouldn't be even more than one fifty. Nope. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I feel like you should, everyone should start buying branded stuff as well. Don't buy the te- don't buy the Tesco or Sainsbury's version of stuff anymore. <clears throat> it mm. don't make sense. I don't yeah, think but I did. You know, it don't actually make like. Even though I prefer like the Tesco biscuits to actually the branded ones, I prefer like chocolate digestives from Tesco than digestives. But I'm honestly oh, fi- yeah. honestly starting to think I should just buy the branded ones because it's making more sense. Yeah. But you know one shop yeah. <laughs> I've discovered that's doing some decent deals on meat is Morrison's. Yeah. yeah. You can buy some nice steaks. You can buy some chicken. Decent price. Mm. Decent the thing, price. The thing, there's not a lot of Morrison's. That's the only thing. Nah. Well, especially way. kind of around here anyway. Yeah, that's where I discovered it, Perth. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. That's probably... they got a big one there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Morrison's, I enjoy that shop, to be fair. <laughs> I enjoy that shop, but now, 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 to be fair, my shop, my shop. I'm going M and S from now on. I'm being in M and S for years, but I'm now full. I was going to say you actually go there anyway. Yeah, yeah, but I'm full on shopping. M&S. Any time he'll be like beforehand. Oh, do you want any snacks or anything? Just like get anything. He'll always back in the day. Always come with Percy Pigs, or M&S. you, you just know he's been M and S. Yeah, so M and S is. He's M&S always is been my, kind of bougie. It's, 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 <laughs> been, it's, it's been the shop. <laughs> it's, it's been the shop to go to though. The one I'm never upgrading to is Waitrose, though. That one there. Nah, I feel like their things are a bit strange, you know? Yeah, nothing's real. I've I've had, like, the apple crumble and custard, yeah, and it tasted disgusting. Is it? Yeah, yeah. man. Trying and, to and, think. I, and I'd be going places for apple crumble and custard, so I know my I know my shit when it comes to that. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm trying bro. to think last time I went, I was, uh, probably about two months. I remember me and my sister went in there. She went to go collect something. Cause they had a John Lewis inside, so we just ended up buying some snack class. Mm. We were waiting for her, I had some to come. And now I think about it, ugh, what do we get? I feel like we had some form of like a sponge cake or something like that. Mm. It was all right, but it's like I wouldn't really go there again. No, for it's, a bit, it's a bit meaty, man. Yeah, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie, it's a bit meaty. I think MS is a top of the range <coughs> one for quality, for price, as for price now as well. I'm well, not, I mean, if everywhere else is putting their prices up, then MS hasn't really changed, then yeah. You're more or less gonna. It's been it's been pretty much the same. Pay the same for mm-hmm. better quality to an extent. So. 100%. 110%. Hundred percent, hundred and ten percent. Because that's where M and S banks. I'm sorry, we're going off on this, but on their cakes. Ooh, bro, phenomenal. You know phenomenal. me. I don't really bang cakes like mm. that. But the if it's a sponge, oh, it's top of the range. Yeah, oh top gosh. of the range. Yes. M and S Victoria sponge. Oh my Mark gosh, and Spencer. that one. You look. Buy that for me and yeah, I'll, I'll devour <laughs> that. But anything else then? Their yeah. apple crumble and custards goes off. Yeah, it does. Mm, I haven't tried it. I'm not an apple crumble fan. 
and they have they the have like fan. some chocolate cake. Oh, then yeah. why why aren't you an apple crumble fan? Warm fruit. So one of my friends is like this as well. <laughs> don't don't start. This <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, big man too. Warm <laughs> fruit, bro. I said warm fruit. Do you like do you like pineapple on pizza? Yes, I actually do. You guys got problems. <laughs> you guys I, are like, I, we're, we're gonna catch there, you. There we're gonna catch you. But I don't care. It. I actually don't mind it. When yeah. I was younger, I didn't mind it. It's yeah, not my at, go-to. Bro, whoever wants to at me on that, just at me. So you like like pineapple turnover in them um, cakes? Lovely. I don't. I don't go for it, but I don't oh. feel like. I don't think it's disgusting. So you man like warm fruit? Yeah. No problem. With I ain't got it a problem with warm fruit. Wow. Never have, never have apple crumble. I'll devour that, bro. Now I like the crumble, so I have crumble and custard. This is like his egg scenario all over again. <laughs> only it sounds a, like it. You know? eat, no, only bro. a certain type of way, etc. Crumble and custard is nice, but the apple, I just don't like the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like the just... Guy. Fair, I mean, each to their own. Yeah, I just don't like... It's just like the Brussels sprouts with you. But Brussels sprouts is nasty. No. <laughs> oh. yes, so you don't like Brussels sprouts, you don't like Brussels sprouts, but I like them. Uh, that's fine. I'm not getting at you. I know, but, but the warm fruit, warm fruit is crazy. Fruit is not meant to be eaten warm. I mean, it if, is. If it's warm and, and it's, I like it, if it's warm and <laughs> it's mixed up, that's how you get good desserts: peach cobbler or that jazz. I guess so. Do you know what I mean? So, I guess so. Like, can't go wrong with a bit of apple crumble and custard, Trust mate. Me, have you ever had an apple cake? In fact, nah. My auntie made some chocolate and apple cake the other day. I said, mm. Chocolate, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, chocolate apple cake. She said, yeah, it's nice. No, chocolate orange cake. Sorry, not chocolate apple cake. I was going to say. Yeah, when chocolate she said, orange. Yeah, chocolate orange cake. I said, because mm, I could see the tangerines in the cake. I said, nah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. That I one think might. it tasted nice, though. I didn't try it. Try it. Everyone else said it tasted nice. But yeah. I want eating fruit. Yeah, to be fair, I don't really like chocolate orange like that anyway. So, yeah, Do you sure. mind eat fruit cake then? I can have it. I won't well, like go that, for that it. That wedding fruit cake. Yeah. That's so disgusting. I could probably... Well, you like that? No, nah, I'm just trying to work out why you don't like that, but you like warm fruit. No, those... those that's You see that fruit cake thing? That is separate, bro. That's not even in the It's not even about like a, a warm fruit kind of thing. That is just... That's, that's just, just nasty. Yeah, just yeah. don't like it. More nasty, bro. I feel like it's a I feel like it's a 60 plus thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Anyone who eats that? <laughs> 60 plus. old people in that? Yeah, yeah, no. 60 nah, plus. I hear it. Yo, your freedom passes on this way. <laughs> bad guy. <laughs> bad, bad guy. All right, let, let's get started. Into yes, the, yes, yes. Into this, the cards, whatever the cards that we have. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, so, yes. Do you, does anyone want to explain as to why we came through to this card process? Or Do you know what? It's so crazy that we even started this card process because we had nothing to talk about first. Yeah. Well, we've, no, we've just we, gone on a mad tangent. Yeah, yeah. which we, I said we, we would. We've got stuff to talk about, but we feel like we've kind of deprived you lot of a bit of the, you know, somewhat a non bit of us, non sports, basically. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which we're obviously going to delve into <laughs> later. <laughs> so don't go anyway. <laughs> but like, we know a lot of our um, listeners and watchers do like us speaking about, say, anything generic and. and in general, mm. as, as per. So basically, we've all got cards. Um, I've actually not read mine at all. Um, they, I, haven't these read, I haven't read yours. Or yeah, yours. so I, we don't know which ever, either. We just um, know what yours are. And what are these What are these cards, basically? Icebreaker. Um, they're called Icebreaker, yeah, but I feel like this is meant to be a game. But these questions, they can't be icebreakers because they're deep. They're deep. Okay, cool. So mm. I don't even know the rules or anything of these of this particular card that I'm holding right here. Still not looking, trying to not look. Um, but yeah, basically there's a question on each card that we're all going to ask and then we're just going to go around answering and see where we get to with it. Um, try something different. So Yeah. Yes. Because um, even beforehand, we called... Deji and Jacobs, both their misses. Um, and so, ladies, give us something, give us something, give us something. Because we already got other things um, down the line, but we're just like, give us something then. We finally come to this card. Yep. So, who wants to kick off on our card fiasco? I'll, I'll, I'll go first then. Go on, then. We got. So, this one is describe a time when you let someone down. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. This is see this, this is where things will start getting deep, and man, don't want to really tell you my private life. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, have you got a turn? 
because you slightly seen your card earlier, so you've had some time. <laughs> these have, are not icebreakers. Think about <laughs> <it>. trust. These, <laughs> are, these are not icebreakers. What? <clears throat> trying to think, like, uh, when have I let someone down? No, I'm not, not even being arrogant, but I don't feel like I really let people down. Yeah. Um, I'd like Whenever. to be, think people will vouch for me when I say when I'm there. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> spiritually, mentally, physically. Um, <laughs> Whenever I let someone down, I've I've definitely let someone down. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously, yeah, yeah. I'm great, but I'm not perfect. Do you know? Yeah, I've mean? definitely let probably let a few people. The man then would say I've let. I'm saying disclaimer to my missus on this before I say this story, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> my, the mother would say I've let them down when we were probably like 18 or something like that. This story, they tell me this story all the time, but they they, they basically said that I drove somewhere to link someone mm-hmm. instead of coming to meet them and pick them up or do something with them. Because I right. said, I said they, I pra- this is how they tell me the story. They tell me, that I said that they were too far away and then I ended up driving to somewhere like Portsmouth. That is, that's, so they'll say no, I let them down in that that's sense. That's a journey. So yes. can you confirm or deny whether you actually let them down? Obviously I wouldn't have said that. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have said I let them down. Full story. <laughs> I wouldn't have said I personally let them down. Do you understand where they're coming from? Yeah, kind of. But I wouldn't have said I let them down because I don't recall this per- <laughs> This all happening. But okay. they say it happens. But the- <laughs> but that's just a funny time when I'd say I'd let someone down. They That's what they always say. Oh, you let, you let us down. Da, 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 da. But in terms of letting someone down, I'd probably let people down. Um, <sighs> probably let people down. I'd probably let, let my missus down or let someone down in a relationship. Definitely. In terms of um, probably saying something I was going to do. Yeah, and and that haven't would, that would have been mine. Yeah, and haven't probably come through with what I said I was gonna do in terms of I don't mean to do it, but oh, saying okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, or we're gonna go here, we're gonna go there, and I haven't gone through with it, or I've let her down just in in those senses. But I wouldn't say I've let her down in anything that could, you know, not nothing, not anything so so serious. It's just yeah. been a case of just, oh, we were meant to do this. And I've maybe forgotten we were meant to do it. So I feel like she's been let down in that situation. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Um, yeah, that, that's probably what I can sh- just say. Maybe ex-relationships, just being a bit more attentive mm. in certain situations. So I won't necessarily say major letdown in certain aspects because I, I feel like I've got... Here's what I found. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, um, <laughs> I don't know where that come from. <laughs> Start exposing me, but um, I feel like I've got a fairly good memory with a lot of stuff, or I can mm. somewhat multitask. So, just say uh, ex relationships, if they feel like I'm not listening, I'll be like, I'm actually listening, even if I'm watching something, yeah, or doing something. But then there'll be the odd time, just generally, I think it can happen to anyone, just letting things slip in it mm-hmm. and just not being. Yeah, I'd say more so in that let down realm. It's just being more attentive in certain situations or being emotionally attached to a situation. Because mm. um, I can think something will be not that deep as per. Right. And say a partner or whatever, or whoever actually could just feel like, no, it is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So it's just, I feel like over the years, I'm much more attentive now. But I'd say back in the day more so. um understanding why someone's feeling that way about a certain thing yeah and somewhat not disregarding how their thought process on it or Mm -hmm. and stuff because i'll be like even if i feel like i'm right and majority of the time i am i've said that before (laughs) Uh, no i know i'm joking but no i'm not joking but just yeah being Mm. back in the day probably i'd say let people down in that aspect of being more attentive right 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 i was being less attentive then in it compared to now in it so but it's part and parcel, do you know what I mean? Yeah. In terms of like the development of yourself and understanding others and the growth as well, isn't it? So. I'll be honest, <clears throat> to be great, to be successful in anything, I think you've got to let a lot of people down. Oh, I f- yeah, that, that's a different ball game. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, but that, no, no, actually, no, it relates. That's, that's, that's what I feel like in terms of so the success of our careers, or the success of what we want to do as people, I feel like we've, I've let a lot of people down on the way in terms of I've said, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. 
And really and truly, I've told you I'm going to come, told you I'm going to be here. And I can't be here because I'm more focused on my drive to be successful. So <clears throat> when I put it in that aspect, I probably let loads of people down along the way. Mm. Um, and I, feel, I feel like with that, that's kind of a general thing. In, yeah, I understand. Yeah. I understand. And I'm not, I, I would like to say sorry for it, but I can't be sorry for it because yeah, at the end yeah. of the day, it's your life, my life. You get what I mean? And I'm trying to get somewhere and be successful. So I feel like in terms of my career, I've definitely let a lot of people down just in terms of, I've told you I'm going to be somewhere. I told you I'm going to be able to do this. Mm. And really and truly, because selfishly to be successful and to try and be as great as I possibly can be, I've taken the road that I feel like was going to help me more, which is the only road you can possibly take as a person in any way. So mm. I feel like in that aspect, I've probably let a lot of people down. Um, but I feel like to be someone and to be successful, I feel like you need to. But th that goes to where I feel like on the, op the opposite side of the coin is where I feel people shouldn't take stuff like that personal as well. Because mm. when you event not see the end goal, but you see the progression and whatever, or you see some the positive the out positive outcomes out of something, you'll be like, okay, cool. That's why this person wasn't able to be there, for mm -hmm. instance, etc. So, like, I, I genuinely get your point on that, but yep. that's where I feel like people should somewhat be more. I think as I've grown older, and that I, I me, mean, I never really take things personal in it in general. Mm -hmm. I think I've always been like that, and bro, everyone goes through their own stuff in it. Yep. So it's just be like, okay, cool if they can make it up to me in this type of way or next time, yeah, I'm like, all right, cool. Whereas if it's something that's going to be somewhat recurring, mm. then I'll be like, all right, like, why Why is it like this? Do you know yeah. what I mean? I might want slight more explanation in it. So. Yeah, no, I understand. But I've definitely missed a lot of important days, a lot of important things, a lot of things that I probably should have been at for my own success. Mm. No, and, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And, you know, I, I, can't, I can't say I'm sorry for it but that's probably where I'd say I've let a lot of people down and you know I feel like everyone in their own right should let people down in that way if you're trying to get somewhere mm. please by the way anyone that watches this that you know me personally if you feel I let you that I actually want you to tell me mm. so I can actually think as to when or why etc not yeah. send the receipt generally no it's true with me like not even again to blow my own trumpet but i feel i'm the opposite end of the scale mm -hmm. i've overdone for people yeah like i've over been there for people mm -hmm. and stuff like that and even one of my sisters said it to me a couple of years ago she's like actually take time for yourself in it mm -hmm. and look and i feel like i was like raw all right let me actually take that on in the sense that not i not that i've hindered myself in any aspects yeah. but it's like because I've overdone or over been there for people in that aspect. Take advantage. Yeah, not not even a take advantage thing. You become accustomed to certain things in it, so yeah. you kind of expect that. Mm. Whereas that's me actually going the extra mile in it, mm -hmm. and then it's then giving me less of a chance to focus on myself to improve in certain areas. Isn't yeah. It? So I agree. Yeah. I agree. When you, especially when you go above and beyond for <clears throat> for someone, and you know they well and they don't do it back for you you kind of take it yeah my, my thing is even not even because i know like say majority of my people they're grateful in it you mm -hmm. get me so i'd never think i oh, yeah i'm doing something to expect something of course not yeah of no, course I'm not that's giving not take person yeah like that, it's but just but you, that's how life works yeah, well, it's, it's, it's <laughs> but, true. it is true when but it's like you said when you do go the extra mile for someone and then obviously when you are in a situation and they don't go the extra mile for you, even though you shouldn't expect them to go the extra mile for you, mm -hmm. you can kind of, it's weird, man. It's like, it would be nice if they did. Yes. But you can't expect anything from anyone. Yeah. Because again, that goes back to the point of the time you might want something, that might be the time someone might be going through hell. Exactly. Instance, exactly. Or have a lot on their plate, etc. Exactly. Et but might not know how to communicate something. To mm -hmm. you. That's why, again, I've said it before, communication is so key, bruv. Yeah. <laughs> Most important so thing. Key. In any aspect, for something so small, something so big, like, that's why even sometimes in the chat, I might come across annoying to you guys, but I'll be like, that's just the way I am, innit? Mm. <laughs> like, I would like to put like every little detail of, or something as to why. And I know no, not everyone's like me in general, yeah. innit? Like, in that sense, so. I'll just be like, I think oh, I'm, yeah. I'm the opposite to you. Free warning. Oh, that, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I've known that for 25 years, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what I know. Yeah, it's true, though. <laughs> but yeah, that's just that's just the way it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. For a man that doesn't like apple crumble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we move on to mine or your card? 
Uh, oh, mine yeah. or yours? Oh yeah, red yours. Yeah, so I've, I've flipped mine. So we'll go, go to mine. You flipped yours before, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair. So in mine is in what ways are you bad with money? Right now, it's kind this, of deep. this one, this <laughs> one's actually easy for me. Mm. I'll, I'll just buy like stupid stuff off Amazon. Like, it's it's strange. Like, I'll just buy. I haven't I haven't done it recently, but I'll buy like a pack of cards. Yeah, that do something. Or I'll buy like, you know, like Wish dot com. Yeah. Mm. I used to buy like some key rings and that. So you're the someone that ads can get you? Nah, because I never saw an ad for these things. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Jake could even try to help him out. You just oh. thought you just wanted to just buy them. Oh, let me see key, what this looks like in person. Key, key rings, rings, you know. Or I'm, you know. I'm, a, I'm a bad returner. Oh, so uh, you won't return anything? Like, if, if, it's, if it don't fit the way I don't want it to fit, I'll put it in my boot, yeah, thinking I'm going to return it. Bro, by the there. time by the time like the weeks go up. by, I can't return it no more. Yeah, you see, I can't I can't live like that. <laughs> yeah. I can't return it no more. But luckily, like yeah. it's been things ain't cost too much like that anyway. Probably mm. like five or a tenner, but eventually five or tenner is like a hundred pound. Yeah, but yeah. for the cards thing, for instance, I feel like that's something that could be say beneficial. I don't know what type I don't even know what they are buying, but long yeah. term innit yeah, yeah, I'm what, just using I think it's well, like game cards these cards yeah. these cards nah 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 okay like, Pokemon deck cards nah nah deck of cards oh okay so but, like have, jack cards but, oh like, like different like, coloured ones or gold cards yeah and... well, I just see something that's nice and just buy it right oh okay or <laughs> trainers yeah there's one month I bought three pairs of Yeezys in like in space of like a week that was bad. <laughs> Did you keep all of them? Yeah. Oh, that's all right, man. I said I was going to resell. Not on my feet, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not on his feet now, but yeah. Nah, with that, to be fair, I've always been good in terms of when it comes to things like Yeezys back in the day. Mm. I'm a, if I like it in person, I'll keep it. Mm. So I know that risk factor is already there, but majority of the time I'll buy it with the intention to sell it. Oh, okay, so, okay, okay. Um, it's only things like that but what sorry what was the in what ways are you bad with money oh um or oh, i can i can overspend on food as well on food mm, easy oh so would the food then go to waste i eat all of it oh that's you're not overspending on food then oh you just be your eyes too big for your yeah, belly but he's saying basically being a let bit me, too greedy yeah <laughs> let me let me even explain yeah this was like it's hard it's hard to say it now because um I don't do this anymore, innit? This is like, maybe this time last year. Mm. So what I'll do, yeah, I'll buy like ingredients with the intention to cook. So I'll just order food. Oh, okay, okay, oh, so okay, you've okay. I've got the ingredients I've got already. the ingredients, I need okay. to put it together, I just order food. Like I'll have, I'll do shop, I'll do food shopping, sick. Say, oh, this, I'm gonna have this, this day, this, this day, this, this day. As soon as I get home, deliveroo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man and that's bad yeah that's bad but obviously yeah, I don't do no more in it because man's, man's conscious now yeah, man. and I've got my Excel spreadsheets yes yeah, that's a good way to work it Mr. Mr. Planner <laughs> yeah so like I said man I'm coming this year with some serious intentions man makes sense in what ways am I bad with money um, I wouldn't say I'm, I personally wouldn't say I'm bad with money at all but I am an impulsive spender so if I so I, I'll always um, each month I invest invest my money in my investment accounts I'll save my money but if I if I want something I will if I or no if I haven't if I haven't spent money in a long time I go for a period of time when I have to spend money you get what I mean? So I if I haven't spent I money yeah, in like, yeah, yeah. say I haven't spent money on anything in like three, four months, I now have to go and spend money and a lot of it. <laughs> to make up, to make to up, make up, up for the <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what? <laughs> That's what I have to do. And I have to go and just, or if I see something and I, and I think I need it, I'll buy it. I, I, I said I have to make up. I have to make up. I, 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 I recognise that in myself as well. <laughs> I have to make up for it. Like my, remember when my MacBook broke? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My MacBook broke and I was like, ah, uh, no, well, instead of thinking about getting it fixed, let me just go buy a new one. Yeah, but you did. And I also then got, I got, yeah, I bought yeah. the new one before I got the other one fixed. Yeah, yeah. That part you did say on tour after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you get what I mean? Or Yeah, when you done that, I was like, rah. But that's, that's, that, that's, that's what it is. It's an impulsive thing. It's like, okay, that's cool. more than impulse, bro. No, I know. But because I haven't spent money for like four or five months, it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, Do you get what I mean? Yeah, let true. me make up for the last five months. Yeah. <laughs> nah, so spending, so, or with the, um, or even with the camera, it's just like, okay, cool. Uh, we need a camera. Mm. Uh, well, you know, we're women um, are in, on the camera and say, ah, you know what? I could use it for many things. Impulse. Let me just buy it. I haven't spent money for a few months. But I feel like your impulse buys of recent have been very beneficial though. Oh no, they usually are beneficial. Yeah. Whereas, but it's just, yeah. it's just still, I could think of a better alternative. Sometimes. Actually, tell, <laughs> you, now you said the impulse thing, like, for you, because who, uh, where was it? Obviously, back in the day when this guy was a bit of a, when we were all sneakerheads, but this guy, oh. where, <laughs> what was it again? The Air Max, or was it the Planets? The, uh, but there were the, um, yes, I know, off-white, the off-white fly- ones. Off-white Planets. Yeah. Old ones, bro. Yeah, I remember. Were they like white or something? Nah, nah they were black, but with the white right. What are they, what are they called again? And then, um, is it, it's flying it, ain't it? Air Max flying it or nah, something. They like had that. a name to them, the super I can't the night things. Oh, yeah, but, but anyway, was, like, yeah. I knew someone that was oh, the Vapor they, Max thing, Vapor Max, Max is, that's it, yes, that's it. Vapor yeah. Max, um, flying it or whatever, but the off white ones. Mm. And I knew someone that he, he just happened to come over my house. I think you were about 18 then or something. Yeah. Come over to my house. Palace days. And money. It, <laughs> the money was, I was good. Like, oh. I, was like, I just went to him. I was like, oh, one of my friends, their boy is sell- selling this, you know? Like, just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I was like, is this price nuts? Jacob just said, has he got it now? <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> and the price was mad as well. Yeah. I was like, so I called my boy. I was like, has your guy got it? He's like, yeah, yeah, meet him, blah, blah, blah. Can you remember we went to New Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? You told me about that. So that was you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Really? Impulse by. And it's mad because we didn't even know the guy. We just knew my boy was the middleman, innit? Mm-hmm. So he's like, oh, meet me at this pub, blah, blah, blah. Like, we could obviously, they like just argument say, we could have got set up all that jazz. <laughs> or take it, bro. That's that's a South Londoner's first thought. Exchange of large cash <laughs> to product. <laughs> bro, and you yeah. used to be impulsive with those kind of stuff. Yeah, back yeah, then, yeah, innit? yeah. So. Definitely, definitely. But it's always because I, I, I would save, I'd save money yeah, and yeah. invest money each month. So I'm sitting there like, I'm not really, I ain't spent anything. So if I do make one big purchase, it's not even, it's not going to affect anything really. Yeah. But the, some guess. of the, and funny enough, I don't even have those trainers anymore. I remember I sw- I did a trainer swap mm. for a, another pair of Fear of Gods. There. So. No, but there was a period then you were buying like oh, yeah. high-end trainers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Happ- oh, he'll happily. happily buy them off resellers and yeah. anything. Mm. How's that? Hey, that money was a shit. <laughs> I thought your money was good. That Academy <laughs> Premier League ball money. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, I'd say what was <laughs> what? In what ways are you bad with money? I'd say more so when I was younger. I wish my money management was better. Right, right, right. So in terms of like putting my money in the right areas, or even saving more when I was younger, mm-hmm. um, I feel not learned that habit. Um, good habit later on but I wish I had that good habit much earlier in my life innit um, right. and just yeah probably just try to look at different streams of how I can make more money mm-hmm. obviously legally um, and all that jazz but yeah just like I never really looked into things like I think it was you that I spoke to years ago. Like, oh, what kind of investments and all that jazz? Then Deji would tell me about certain stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, And stuff yeah. was like, I'd never go out my way to actually look up those kind of stuff, innit? Right, right, right. Like, as much as I like numbers and stuff like that, it's just, yeah. yeah so those, those things have helped me out over the years, man. Yeah, I just... Accumulate money quick. One thing right. that mm-hmm. I wish I was better at understanding that whole process of certain things like that. Mm. That would have then made me say, oh, I'll put money into this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That just take more of a risk then with then certain things. It doesn't Instead mean as much now. Instead of spending it on certain. Yeah. Like I've never been a, not a, no, I was going to say stupid spender, but I've never actually been a stupid spender like that. But just like a lavish spender. I, I, I like nice things, don't mm. get me wrong, but 
I'll be like, all right, cool. If I know I'm gonna buy this, I'll eat soup for the rest of the month. Theoretically, yeah. never eat soup. Mm. But <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd just say more so in terms of that, if that answers the question. Yeah, so no. That's probably yeah, no, I, no, no, to add on to your point of the uh, managing money when you're younger, that's something I'd got to <coughs> thank the people around me at a young age. Like that's that's one thing I would always do. Like mm. manage money. Um, one of my one of my close boys, Carl, he works in finance, and um, he told me one day, "Why is all your money just sitting in your account? You make money, you make quite a bit of money. Why is it just sitting in your account?" And I said, "Oh well, it's money to buy a house, isn't it?" Yeah. And he said, "No, no, make your money work for you." And since then, that's when I started investing into um, hedge funds and things like that mm. um, in Hargreaves Lansdowne and. And when once I saw how much money I could make, basically doing nothing, mm-hmm. or, and overnight just like, I, and that's when I was like, oh wait, this is the way billionaires. Yeah, or this is the way people really, really, really trust me. Make their money. Make your money in your sleep. You yeah, know? and that's that was the goal, just to make money while I sleep. And it was like, how much money could I possibly make from this? Mm-hmm. So that was, that was the goal. And yeah, as you said, managing money. I'm just thankful for the people around me that literally knew. And they helped me out a lot, and I'm grateful to them really. Fair. So, although I made those city purchases, it was they, I was. Hey, you enjoyed it, man. Uh, yeah. yeah at, at the same time, I was I, very much. Lives for living, man. Like, yeah. My dad always used to say to, like, say my cousin when he first became pro, he's like, obviously be careful with your money, but actually enjoy it as well. Mm. Isn't it? Like, and it's true, you enjoy the fruits of your labor. Exactly. So, yeah. Get me. Exactly. There just has to be balance. Yes. Balance. Yes. But yes, yeah, shall we move on to my card? Yeah, what's yeah. on your card? The mystery reveal. Mm-hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Gonna let you guys see it. Uh, hi, you can't even see. <laughs> uh, where in your life are you lazy and what's your excuse? Hmm. Where in my life am I lazy? I could, I could go into that now, right now. There's one avenue that I wanted to look into, like, like career-wise. Is it, is it really career wise it's just a bit of fun <laughs> but you can actually make money doing it in it mm. and i thought what's this gonna look like but i haven't looked into it the way i wanted to yet i've looked into it on surface level but how it will actually work i haven't looked into it yet what's my excuse for that i don't think i have one yet so you're attributing it, attributing it to laziness yeah <laughs> okay I've been I've been lazy still, cause I put I put things in place to boost my productivity, yeah, but my productivity has not gone to that yet. It hasn't. I don't know why though. Actually, I kind of do know why, cause I've just got other stuff on my plate that I need to get through first, then deal with that. Hmm. Um. Do you feel like you can still do that? And then handle things on your plate as well, or are the things on your plate overriding you wanting you to do whatever it is? Or no, I think I can do both. You know, it's just that what I want to do recently, I just ain't had the time. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I probably just didn't have the time, you know, because when I'm doing stuff for my other things, I do stuff to take up that whole time. Then it's time to go sleep. Mm. Mm. Then, or like, you know, when we're in the office dropping off the kids and that, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking office. <laughs> yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at like the stuff I need to look at in it mm-hmm. to to that, I'm, that I wanted to boost my productivity with, but that part. That I want to look into it's, it's like a it's like a leisure hobby that will get me money in it. Right, but I ain't looked into it yet. But I'll tell you what it is after though. Mm. <laughs> Not for you, man. <laughs> okay, is that a time management thing for you then? I was just you literally took yeah. the words out of my mouth. It's possible. It's possible. Cause the missus was chatting to me about the time management as well, but literally it's just been these this past like three days, mm. my mind has switched onto it. Okay. okay. Yeah. So it's too, it's too early to give me a verdict yet. I feel like with your was it last week or week before you spoke about um your whole planning aspect and how you started the new year and all that stuff. 
that might from that you do, doing something that you don't usually do that might help you kick on with this innit <clears throat> yeah yeah at yeah. some point and but that's, obviously and that's helped that's helped me quite a lot actually doing this planning as well right so yeah man this is it's a good process but there's a lot of uh there's a big teething process going on mm. so I, I guess i'm going through that as well mm. interesting Fair. um where am i lazy in my life and what's your excuse um uh, as well, man. <coughs> Lazy to the gym. Lazy going to the gym. I mean, no. we. I feel like we use that. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys have both well. used that one. Yeah. Um, where am I lazy in my life? To be fair, I don't know if I have time to be lazy anywhere. Just due to, I feel like I'm doing loads all the time. Mm-hmm. But if if there is if there is one aspect where I'm lazy, it's probably in my friendships. Okay. Um, Ooh. I'd say it's in my friendships. That's where I'm probably lazy because. I'll be honest, I haven't, uh, I, I probably don't respond to messages as well as I used to or as well as I should do. I don't link up with people as much as I probably should. Um, partly because I'm very, we're busy doing stuff for this. So we're busy, I'm busy at football, I'm busy at, you know, doing other things. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, I, I feel like I need to make a conscious effort to be more in tune with my friends and, uh, be there you get what I mean I feel like I've been out of the loop literally for the past I'm going to say four or five months I've been completely out of the loop with everybody um, like I'm replying late someone will message me two three weeks ago mm-hmm. then they'll message me again did you not see the message and I thought oh, I rep- right. you get what I mean I, then I replied I thought I replied to it so I feel, I feel like that's, that's where I've been most lazy in my friendships um, and I'm going to try and make a conscious effort this year to kind of you know plan more things with everyone and you know be there because I've I've been <laughs> I haven't been there to be honest with you I've just been I, I, I'm I'm part time-ish just, but yeah that's why I've been the most lazy I, I don't have an excuse for it the, the excuse would be I'm busy but everyone's busy so yeah. <laughs> I need to make time and I need to be on my phone and reply and respond more with, with that though like I'd say Obviously, when you do start to somewhat action stuff, don't underrate the time that you actually do spend with your friends as well. Because, mm. like, even me and one of the boys, we're all, or two of us, will always, like, send it to... Or not always, but we sent it fairly recently to each other separately or on different occasions about just chilling with the man them, mm-hmm. how much it actually helps, like, your mental health. Or, right, right, right. Like, you just... Do you know what I mean? I think I saw a tweet saying... Um, <laughs> oh, what was it? Um, something about ah, oh, oh, man them with their women. They'll be like ah, oh. but when um when they when they know the man them are coming over mm. on Saturday, for instance, they're all doing a gi- giddy dance and yeah, all that jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jazz, sorry. Yeah. And obviously, always be great with your woman. Do you know what I mean? But just like as we've gotten older, you're more likely to spend less time through whatever commitments you're going through. Yep. So those times that you can, like even if like, say one of the men them come back from ball, we know he's in London for a weekend, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. I'll make that conscious effort. It's like, all right, cool. If he's not doing anything, mm. that's, everyone will just go, all Go around to his. If, yeah. Even if all was to someone's that we're all together. Yeah, yeah. Bro, we do this like spontaneously. Just like, bro, mm-hmm. come on. If, if there's nothing on, we'll find something. Boom, all the food, yeah. bank. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then man will be going home at like, say, 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning. But like, I'm content in it. And I know like, all right, cool. I had a good weekend just mm-hmm. from that. So I feel like with us, in our friendship group, for instance, that's something we always try to somewhat check in with or make it happen, in it. Yeah. I've been, I've, I've been honest. We used to do it so much. When I say used to, I'm talking about last, last year was probably a down year. But before that, it was literally every weekend uno we're going playing we're playing uno together yeah, we're there till five in the morning six in the morning you get what i mean we're always chatting and this sort of stuff now everyone's everywhere because everyone's obviously the lives life's taken over so yeah. everyone's living somewhere else but even the boys that are living local to me i'm i'm still you get what i mean i'm not as active as i was and it's that's, uh, the, that's the thing man cause uh, I, I think i could say the same as well like you know there's there's some people that you see regularly yeah but like to my boys, I ain't seen. I don't think I've seen any of them this year yet. Like, mm. 
And the worst thing is, it's weird. The worst thing is, I talk to them every day, mm. yeah. but I don't see them. You get what I mean? I see people that I don't speak to as much more than I speak see the people I speak to. So that's that's what I feel like in some some aspects. I'm like I don't see my best friends enough. Mm. Do you get what I mean? But every t- but we could be away from each other for six months. When we link up, it's like you see I saw them every I see them yeah. every day. That's the thing. So that's one of the def- that's definitely the thing I need to uh, liven up with. Fair, fair. Uh, what am I lazy? What are you lazy? Where are you lazy? <laughs> Where are you in life? Are you late? Where in your life are you lazy? And what shit? Excuse, I can't even get the question out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where in life am I lazy? Do you know what? Yeah, I'd feel. Um, obviously, I would have said, like, say, <clears throat> somewhat wanting to progress in the sports field to an extent, in it. Mm-hmm. But like. I feel like once we we kicked off with this um, with the podcast, it gave me like extra juice in general. Because one, generally we speak about sports a lot in it. So mm-hmm. like me actually, what like beforehand when we actually um, were speaking to Deji's missus about reading books and stuff yeah. like that, and I was like, I'm an articles kind of guy in it. Mm-hmm. Now putting my articles into practice or discussing it with you guys that I actually come across whether majority of the time if it's sports, but if it's not. Like it might give us something, a conversation topic, for instance. Yeah. It? So just going back to the actual point is like, that would have been my thing of what I was lazy in, in it. Mm. But now I'm kind of, I feel like I'm starting to put things into practice in it. Yeah. And then hopefully that will then lead me to, to start like, I hate writing, but. I hate writing, but I love reading articles. It's so weird. And I hate reading books, but <laughs> one, to start reading books more and two, to start actually maybe writing my own pieces, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So whether that could be, obviously it will more, more or less be a sports p- piece. And I've got like a couple ideas of say NFL, an NFL player, one that I definitely want to r- write one about mm-hmm. that I won't even tell you a lot about. And then <laughs> until it actually comes out and then, like say in the Premier League, whatever, those kind of stories, I feel like I can chase any time in it. Yeah. But it's now for me to actually to try and start learning the art of writing as per in it. Right, right, right. So um I wouldn't say that's my excuse with that, but I don't know if I fully answer that question. But um yeah. And I'd say the main thing where I'm probably lazy in life is looking for a new job in it. Mm. Or trying to elevate properly work wise and my excuse in that is just I've just been lazy as fuck with that so, so it's not a comfortability it's yeah. not a comfortability thing it's not yeah. you're comfortable where you are that that plays a part okay. too much yeah. you, like when you feel like you're alright somewhere in certain instances you won't even realise you'll be like shit I've been there for how many years now mm. like how am I gonna progress all this jazz blah 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 just I'm going like, through the motions yeah man. going stale and then yeah. when you get to a, a particular point you'll be like oh, okay cool why am I not at this level or why haven't I tried to apply for this all that jazz do you know mm-hmm. what I mean so I'd probably say more of a work perspective but on the other side the ones that which I probably need to find more motivation for but the one that i have got motivation for is more on the sporting side isn't it so, yeah um which this gives me like not not clarity but it gives me more ideas of where i could go in that mm-hmm. particular writing as per field yeah in some sense but not to become some form of actual writer or journalist in that aspect but, yeah. but you never know where it can take you yeah yeah no definitely but like like a player's tribune type thing yeah 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 no definitely like there's one NFL player I've got in mind that I've, I'm starting to try and jot down certain things so when I can actually write it up and mm. all that jazz and then mm. nice. think, think, I wonder who it could think be. in the football field and then I think I might have two in the NFL I need to double check but um, are the Chiefs players I'm not going to confirm more than that because <laughs> we're not going to do elimination yeah, <laughs> process of elimination. <laughs> no, because you will want to get yeah. find out. But yeah, I think for the actual question itself, it's probably just just work and why am I being lazy? It's just being lazy as fuck. I can't ask me why. Mm. <laughs> What's my actual excuse? Yeah. Um, again, goes back to time management. Um, 
just um balancing things correctly because i know when i'm doing something like this for instance when i'm doing something that gives me a buzz um i know how to immediate not immediately but i know how to adapt yeah in terms of how i use useful my time is in a day etc mm -hmm. all that jazz but it's it's the other stuff that i might not find as much motivation for that i then need to apply the correct time management for it because it will be beneficial for me at yeah. the end of the day in it so 100 percent. yeah i'd say i liked this card challenge thank you yeah it's been thank good. you to the ladies of my brothers for <laughs> making our minds think differently um and we might actually try this out again at some yeah. point um because i it. did enjoy that um again thank you ladies but yes going on to the nfl we are now going to talk about quickly briefly talk about the coaching vacancies because mm -hmm. there is a lot <laughs> there is and i've got like a list of teams that are i'll basically read out just the current openings okay cool for you guys so carolina panthers yeah. which we'll briefly touch up on uh las vegas raiders but i believe they've they've made antonio pierce i saw comms yesterday that mm -hmm. They're basically going to make him permanent, which okay. they should. They should have done that. Yep. Um, I've not checked for an update on that. Uh, Los Angeles Chargers. They've been needing someone. They need someone really important for Justin yeah. Herbert. Yeah. Um, we he briefly mentioned week. Jim Har Harbour. That's yeah. going to make or college. break their franchise. <laughs> yeah. Atlanta Falcons. Um, Bill Belichick's been heavily linked with them. And it looks like... <sighs> That would be mad, though. I don't think he should go. Uh, yeah, carry on. But I don't, yeah, think, I don't think he should go there, though. It doesn't seem how, like how, how much power that. would you yeah. give him as well? You gotta give him everything. Yeah. And Atlanta Falcons is a. They got. They've got to give him everything. I don't think they See, should. I, I think, think teams I don't would think they should learn. Either. I don't think no team would anyway. Because look yeah. what my man's doing. No, I think he. Just, I think the only role you can now, now give him is just head coach. Yeah. yeah, yeah. None of the general GM, managers. Stuff. Yeah, you can't make any decisions on players. Um, because who's the, the coach that got Smith, Sutton Smith, Arthur Smith, or whatever, the Falcons? The one when he, the one that got angry when... Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah when... Um, I didn't know, um, when I was listening to shows the following day, um, they were talking about saying him, he doesn't need the money anyway, because his dad's rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah, dad's yeah. Um, FedEx owner. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> what? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was, it was nice anyway, I remember I saying, was like, wow. right. <laughs> He's doing it for banner. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, that owns FedEx. So I was like, fair and play. You got a job. Yeah. <laughs> um, the job that's paying in millions as well. Yeah, exactly. Trust. Uh, Washington Commanders, which we just touched up on. Um, they'll hire the best coach. Though. They'll hire. I think they'll hire. Their hire will be the best one. Yeah. It's who? Yeah, who they entice? Obviously, it's gonna. But they'll probably be more strategic than yeah. other teams. Um, they're gonna hire someone that we're not even. That's that's in a job. You think? Like, they, they've got the pool for it actually yeah you, they've got their cap space i think seven i think 75 million yeah, but it's the biggest cap space in the nfl yeah see <laughs> they're, they're gonna hire they're gonna take someone's offensive coordinator that's been a head coach before mm. or someone's i don't mm. know who they're gonna take but maybe eric the enemy he's already well, he's, he's there, there. but they, they the make way, him make him the but the way it's been spoken about with others hire. it doesn't it seems like he's just gonna stay as oc he, oh, man, he needs to get a head coaching job if he wants to be considered a serious man. Does he want to be, though? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's he why he left Kansas City. He in, yeah, because he thought he, the trajectory will be um, head coach in there. Then, obviously, yeah. they got new owners, innit? Yeah. Um, just after he went, innit? Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, because Washington possible. done the sell last summer, beginning yeah. of summer and stuff. So, yeah, um, EB... Hopefully he gets a job within the next year or two. Mm -hmm. Tennessee Titans, obviously they weirdly got rid of Mike Vrabel. But yeah, still don't make sense. Yeah, they got their own issues. Yeah. Um, and then Pete Carroll leaving the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. So that's going to be interesting. You've got some legacy coaches that have left. And yeah. I, I did read the article that Mike Tomlin is going to make a decision on his future. Uh, same. Okay. I'm glad you touched up on that, actually. Mm. Okay, so Mike Tomlin could be available as well. No, apparently he's having a break. Oh, it's just retirement, yeah. maybe. Yeah, just a break. He just oh, okay. is going to have a break. He's still quite young. Yeah, it makes sense, man. He's, like, he's early 50s, and, yeah. but he got the job in his 30s and he yeah. was the youngest coach at the time, in it? So Yeah, take a, take a break from Apparently this team. Apparently, he's going to um, have a break. So yeah. that'll be, yeah, the Steelers' job could be 
up for grabs as and well. And he, like, they've been taking a piss because they've not had a good quarterback for years. Even Big Ben's latter years. Yeah. Obviously, it's a legacy thing, so he's still yeah. going to play in it. But, yeah, he's mani- he's getting them to flip mm. playoffs every single year with no quarterback. Yep. <laughs> or not even playoffs, but a win, not having a losing record. Mm-hmm. So, just testament to himself. And Leg- that's legendary right there. Yep. And it shows you yeah, how hard it is to win a Super Bowl. Oh, these men, when you deep it, they've just got one Super Bowl. A lot of these coaches, like yeah. say Pete Carroll, Mike Tomlin, Pete Bob Carroll, Bob. Pete Carroll threw away his other one, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> away that as well. <laughs> so, boy, even hard just to get there. Some of them ain't been back. Oh, well, Cowboys ain't been there since 1995. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> and this was their best opportunity. No, and they, they, they ain't going back this year. They fell go. flat on their face. Cowboys might not, be, not, might not be back to 2035. But the way they're moving. But now with them going out unexpectedly, I expect Mike McCarthy to be sacked. Yep, same. Um, I'm surprised we didn't see that today. Yeah. But it might have happened whilst we were recording. Yeah, it's true. It usually <laughs> but, does. Um, now with that, Bill Belichick go there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just it's just if Jerry Jones, it's just a personality. Like, how that, me- that, yeah, that yeah. seems like a clash, man. Yeah. How they mesh. It's a personality, um, isn't it? They're both old as well, so they ain't, none of them ain't changing. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. Stuck the in their things, ways. The change thing's not happening. Yeah. But like, those are kind of things that potentially, <clears throat> for Belichick, probably why he ain't rushing to, not rush, but made his mind up already. Because mm. another good team that if they're to lose um, is the Eagles. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> there is going to be so many, so much availability. Bro, like, because if the Eagles lose, I don't think Sirianni should be sacked because... His record since he's got there is so good, and mm. he's been good, man. But you've messed up from being ten one position. To this now twelve, and you should have won the division. Yeah. Should have been competing for the one seed anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you should be held accountable for something. So, and then he made the change of changing defensive coordinators, yeah. so it's like, which was weird in the season. So, it's like you didn't sack someone, but you're restructuring the roles. Yeah, yeah. yeah was, I don't know. I don't know. So no, I I genuinely cannot wait till the NFL off season. Obviously, it's annoying because we're not gonna have no games to actually watch. Yeah. But there's um, gonna be still a lot going on in terms of movement and player movement and coach movement. Yeah, which is which is gonna be good, man. Because this time next month, there's no more games. No. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no. But yeah. Um, Obviously, we can touch up on uh, Wild Card Weekend. Yep. Um, the first game, the Browns at the Texans. And we've just been yeah. given CJ's praise, rightfully so. Mm-hmm. CJ Stroud, that is. Um, he continues to amaze us, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, now it just feels like a normal day out for him. Yeah, yeah. It it's just feels normal. Scary, man. Mm-hmm. These these young guns, they're like, I'm the best already. Yep. <laughs> and they're going out and proving it. Yeah. Um, Texans absolutely destroyed. They did. They did. And it's mad because everyone expected the Browns' defence to cause them issues. Yeah. But because the Browns' defence, they pile on so much pressure. If you evade it, yeah, then you're bro, good to you go can cut their open. back end. Like yeah. their, their CBs are good, but it's because they're so exposed because mm-hmm. you're using more men in it. So um, I remember reading that on Twitter and I was like, that is actually a very good point in the game, isn't it? And it's just a shame that obviously we said... I was like, wherever the game is, the game could be in Croydon. Miles Garrett doesn't care, yeah. <laughs> evidently. <laughs> but yeah. those Texans, boy. Um, and but Joe Flacco did throw two pick sixes, which which did. Yeah. Obviously, like, when you give up fourteen points when you're on offense, you kind of put that, yourself in yeah. a massive hole. Because mm. at halftime, the game went over. Exactly. If they shut down the Texans defense and score a touchdown, mm-hmm. then. Yeah, people get tight. Yeah. things change exactly. So, but yeah. turnovers. If you yeah, turn the right. ball over, you're gonna put yourself, make yourself susceptible to that. That one catch that you thought you had, you just drop it by accident. And yeah, that's enough to turn the game. You start but, pressing because you have to start doing more things. You have to run different schemes. You might want to run the ball now. You got to throw the ball because you need to score quicker. And you know that's when penalties start to happen. Yeah, flags start to come out. The crowd's loud. The those, Houston crowd was loud. Yeah. Get those full starts. Yeah. Houston's in a dome, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Don't know why, though, because it's, it's Texas. always hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's Even Texas. Dallas as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always hot. Yeah. But might be for AC purposes. Actually, might be for. True. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point, actually. Well, speaking of Dallas, though. Quick one. You, you played in Houston, didn't you? Yeah. 
Did you play at any of those? Gr- or was no, it we were the, meant to play. We were meant to play in AT and T, but we played um. Is there in, is sort of MLS in Houston Dynamo? Right? Yeah, we played yeah. in Houston Dynamo Stadium, and then obviously the uh, I don't know where the Texan Stadium is, you know, because everything else is close. So I don't know what the Texan Stadium is, because um, Minute Maid's there, uh, Dynamo Stadium's there, and uh, the Houston Rockets Stadium is right there. Oh, Toyota Center. Toyota Center. Everything's literally within a within a mm. f- ten minute walk of each other. Yeah. But oh, then no. I don't know where the Texans actual stadium. Yeah, is. Yeah, you'll find it on your next visit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do. But we meant to play AT and T, but we didn't get through. So yeah. Fair, fair. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember who speak to you then, but uh, next game that Saturday night, Chiefs Dolphins. Chiefs. Yes, <laughs> the Chiefs turned up, boy. Yeah, I Mahomes play very well in yeah. those conditions. The Chiefs at offense, obviously, we didn't score enough getting into their red yeah. zone, but the offense actually played quite good. No, you did. <laughs> you did. I was. Enjo- it felt like somewhat of the Chiefs of old. Yeah, and given the weather con- weather conditions, yeah. like. There was less mistakes than the previous yes. made in other games. Which didn't make sense. You'd think you'd have dropped the ball more yeah. your hands are cold, but it was also, the big drop was Kelsey's shot. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the Dolphins disappointing. The That's Dolphins, they've got a bit of a conundrum because this uh, just, they showed their colours, man. That yeah. is well, but this is the off season two has to get paid. I don't think they should. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't know, man. Because it's tough, because don't get me wrong, I don't, he's not great. He's good. But and getting a good quarterback itself is hard in yeah. a lot of instances. It is. So it's a, it's a sticky situation. Do you, who do you go for? Unless you try and make a trade. Yeah. But that's, who that's do you, you Justin Fields? Yeah. I'm not. Just, I was Justin Fields at Atlanta last week, but boy, if the Miami can get him, it's, it's, I don't think they would. You just need you just need someone there with a stronger arm than Tua, because it and that can. Ah oh, man, I don't know. Two, it, it's not it. He's not it. <laughs> That's my it, honest it's assessment. Sad. Yeah, <laughs> he's not it. Oh, it's a it's a tough one for their front office. So. Yeah, but this is what the front office get paid for. Yeah, so I That's think they'll give him next year. But I, I don't know. Rece- they've got the receivers. They've got the running backs. They've got everything they need offensively. Yeah, to cause every kind of disruption known to man. It's just. Uh, but I've never him. really rated their defense. Ooh. Nah, but then he's not. He's kind of the common. He's kind of the weak link. It's sad to say, but he's kind of the weak link and, in their and offense. And these type of games, yeah, yeah. This is when you need your quarterback to mm-hmm. show up, like, and like he's had somewhat playoff adjacent games, stealing that line. But mm-hmm. the last four weeks, from them losing to Tennessee, that's messed up their season. Yep. Cause they should have beat the Titans and they wouldn't be in this position because mm-hmm. they would have um, snapped up the two seed and yep. they would have gone to the Ravens game really going for the one seed. Yeah. So even if they they had the chance to if they beat the Bills they would have yeah, played yeah. the home game at the end of I, the day. Yeah. You put yourself in the position. Like, yeah. Definitely. You didn't have to go to the Kansas City. You didn't have to play in the minus four. Lost, is it three of the last four? Yeah. Yeah. You if you win one of those games, you're in a different position. You're playing at home, in the warm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, yeah. Once the Tennessee game, it's, if they won that game, yeah, it's that the, two seeds wrapped up. It's their fault. You can't blame anyone else. Yeah, no, for real. They, they've it's, got issues, man. Yeah. They, they, yeah, yeah. That's that's poor from them. Yeah, their baby team, baby mentality. Mm-hmm. And you can understand why players would want to go play the yeah, won the weather, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> to Miami's taxes as well. Yeah. <laughs> so like yeah, Florida taxes nothing. Like you will happily take a bit of a pay cut. Yeah, because you're making more warm, warm, warm weather. Yeah and all that jazz so yeah it was nuts um the shock of uh, the biggest shock of the weekend was the battering the packers gave the flipping cowboys um mm-hmm. the cowboys finally got home field advantage because they would have had this this game and next game yep. before the <laughs> championship game mm-hmm. i um, can't believe them man the score ended what 48 32 but it was really 48 16 yeah because the game was real done then yeah jordan love, jordan, went love, jordan love went out the game it took Jordan Love out the game. Jordan Love, another one. Him and CJ, they're, they're yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah. These young boys, they're not coming to mess around. The, his advantage was sitting back for three years. And watching. Under Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. He looks like him. <laughs> he the, looked the throw, the throw. When he jumped off the yeah. ground. They, they even said it on commentary, yeah. actually. He looks like him. Like It's like you're watching Aaron Rodgers play again. And then it seems like that's their mantra. Have a world-class quarterback and have the rookie sit back for three years watch mm-hmm. him. And then, then come in, 
do it again. Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers to yeah. Jordan Love. So whoever replaces Love, because Jordan Love's ready, bro. Yeah, he's ready. More he's than ready. ready. So, yeah. It's going to be... Romeo Dobbs was big in that game. Mm-hmm. Big. But, yeah. Aaron Jones always cuts the Cowboys. Yep. I think we briefly touched up on that last week. Yeah. Because he's from Texas. Mm-hmm. He's got nine or ten touchdowns in four games against them. Mm-hmm. It's mad. Mazaline. So, yeah, that was a massive shock. And all of us had the Rams, I believe. Winning. Yeah, we did have the Rams. Because we just Lions. thought that they, they were peaking at the right time. Yeah. Shout out the Lions, but they hold it. Yeah. They had a good... Shout out Goff as well, man. Yeah. Really yeah. Good game. Former team that didn't want you. Mm-hmm. Did you see Megatron was there? Yeah. Eminem was there. Everyone was there. Yeah. They're going to be out there next week because they've got another home game as well. Yeah. Because Megatron don't go to games. No. Nope. <laughs> he, he, he denounced that franchise. <laughs> yeah. Then he only went to the first one when they won the... Yeah. Got the... Won their division, sorry. Mm-hmm. So... And it's nuts because if that Cowboys game... If they did, the ref didn't bump them, they would have been the two seed. Yes, they would have been. So, but they've still got home field. Yeah, so yeah. regardless, it don't matter because the Cowboys lost. Yeah. So, so. it all worked out in the end. The yeah, football gods the are there. To go- hey, the karma. Just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cowboys, right? There's going to be some troppings, bro. Yes, definitely. Because Dak's getting paid again this summer. Yeah. Would you pay him? Mm. What is that? Another 40 M's? No, he's, he's, he's getting he's even re- more. Yeah, he's getting a contract restructure, isn't it? New contract. He's going to be highest paid player in the, in the league. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, projected to yeah, be. Yeah, projected to be before that game. I wouldn't do it. But, but on the flip do? side of that, he was he's going to be probably second in MVP, MVP votes. Yeah, where do you go then if you don't do it? Miami will take that trade. You know who? Miami will take that trade. Bro, Dallas won. Dak for Dad, Yeah, Dallas won. This boy... Unless they gave them some um, draft, yeah. real draft capital. Back for two and then sh- 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 then see what you can do. Unless you slap in like a Jalen Waddle. I don't, that, that couldn't want to do it though. Yeah. No, nah, you, your American team, there's a lot that comes with that. Yeah. <laughs> All the extra money. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, that, that would be sick yeah. for the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if that wants the AFC smoke. There's yeah, too many good quarterbacks in there. That's AFC. true. That's true. <laughs> that this is, is true. why I want the good quarterbacks coming out the draft to go to the NFC. I need yeah. more balance, bruv. Because it's, it's this <laughs> the NFC is quarterback yeah. heavy. Yeah. NFC is top heavy, but then. Yeah, after that, you kind of fall off. Yeah. Because we spoke about that like, a couple of weeks ago, the team, the winning records. Mm. The AFC had 11 teams or so over 500. Yeah, then at yeah. that time, the NFC had like five or six yeah. teams. It's like, bro. So, yeah, no, but back to the Lions-Rams game. The fact that the Lions hold on, that will give them real confidence. Whoever they put out of the Bucks and Eagles, probably yeah. got the Lions in that game. Yeah, they'll probably be the favourites going in. Yeah. yeah. And it's been so long since they got a win. Yeah. Yeah, so they might get back to back. They might end up in championship game. And then from there, anything can happen. Anything, anything. Yeah, it's literally one game. It's one game at a time here because it's not, you're not, you, anyone can win. That's what made me think last night how... How much I love the the pressure of the NFL playoffs because it's just one game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like the best actually show out. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Or yeah. or the hymns. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm him mm-hmm. actually show up. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, real talk. Because like the Cowboys for me, I thought this is finally the year they're going to break the mold. They finally got the second seed or like a top, top mm. seed and where they could get home field advantage because yeah. this is what their fans have wanted mm-hmm. she's like bro you've got the, you've got a very good route to that championship game mm. just for argument's sake you meet the 49ers at their ground but Brock Purdy's injured before that yeah you you've got a chance, got a chance. Got like, a chance. now I can never believe in the Cowboys ever again yeah no, <laughs> no it's true we shouldn't, we shouldn't really believe in them in the first place because they do this every year this is actually inevitable I'm not. I don't really believe in them much, but I voted for them this year. They let they they let me down. Yeah, they let everyone down. They sucked me in slightly, and I yeah. never have believed in them. Well, we'll know for next year. Yeah, no, no, no. If they let them win, go seventeen and all. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. It's true. You should, I, you should clip that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, save it <laughs> next year. It's true. Whatever their record is, I genuinely don't care, bro. Because mm. none of their big players showed up last night. No, their defense got dismantled. Like, yeah. don't get me wrong, the offense weren't good, but their defon- defense their defense got battered. Yeah, it's true. And that shouldn't be happening. No, not at all. So, boy, 
But yes, yeah, going into this weekend's games once the final wild card games are sorted. Yeah. Obviously, if the Steelers beat the Bills, which I don't think is going to happen, the Steelers will go to Baltimore mm-hmm. for the divisional game. Yep. <laughs> A divisional game. That is a divisional yeah. game. Um, and then the Chiefs would host the Texans. Yep. But if the Bills, which they should beat the Steelers, the Chiefs go to Buffalo yep. to face the Bills. First road game of Mahomes' playoff career. Yep. Career, yep. And then CJ Stroud goes to Lamar Jackson. Yes, which will be a great game. I think that will be fantastic because they great played game. each other first game of the season. And I think CJ Stroud outplayed Lamar. Yeah, well, he the, did. The Ravens, the Ravens won. won. Yeah. And that was his first game. <laughs> and these kids, they're, yeah. I say kids, they're, they're fearless, man. Yeah, different so. team. Different, Ravens are a different team now. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. and But the Texans are also a different team now. It'll be a great game to watch. I, do, I feel like the Ravens still have the edge. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And definitely. Because of the pressure. Well, and like, that's the game. No matter what I've got going on next day, even if I'm at work six in the morning next yeah, day, I'm watching, watching whatever one. time it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have yeah, to watch it. <laughs> 100%. So, 100%. and I think I think that's more likely the one that's going to happen. Don't mm. trust the Steelers yeah. without TJ Watt and their quarterback. And then in the NFC, it's already down. Well, one game certainly is 49ers versus the Packers. Interesting game because of the, the way um, Jordan Love played last night. You, you, you don't even know. I'll still give it to the Niners. Mm. 100%. Yeah. yeah, no, you're going to give it to the Niners, but you just don't know. If you if they have a bad day, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I'm more than happy to see what will happen. Though. Yeah, hundred percent. All the the next four games are gonna be good, man. Hundred yeah. percent. Gonna and be then, real good. Yeah. Like we said, the Lions will have the Eagles or Bucks, but um, yeah, we've we've seen CJ Stroud and Jordan Love, what they could do with their fairly young receiving calls mm-hmm. and stuff like that, and just them, just like showing. Listen, I'm. You can put me in the top five, top ten conversation. Yep. Because I think Jordan Love, the last eight games, I believe he had the best, he was the best quarterback statistically in football. Yeah. 18 to one touchdown interception ratio. I might be wrong, but... It reminds you of Aaron Rodgers. It actually reminds you of Aaron Rodgers. <clears throat> so, yeah, man. Bro, and yeah, so... The future is bright for the NFL. It is. That's the good thing. Yeah, that is green, good. Green Bay's cooking that. Yeah. Because so. with, with that... As long as there's good quarterbacks, you know the games are more or less gonna be good. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So even if the teams ain't great, Schlack, the magic men, they'll they'll do they'll do something. Yep. Pause on that part. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um get me. But who lot got if if the Lions face the Bucks or the Eagles? Lions. I'd want Lions to go all the way, man. Yeah. I've got Lions, I've got the so my picks quickly are the Lions, the 49ers, the Ravens. And if it goes Bills, Chiefs at the Bills. I'm going to go Chiefs. Do you know why? I just want to see the Chiefs versus the Ravens. Uh, yeah. That's why. Uh, but I'm, uh, I don't. <laughs> of course you don't. You're a Bills fan. Um, yeah. I mean, if the Bills game didn't get postponed, we would have been, we would have known to yeah. both wear our tops this week. Um, so... Yeah. Next week, you probably can. Next week, after the great game, it'll be one of you wearing the tops. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, do you know what? Yeah, it depends how the Eagles beat the Bucks for me. Mm. If they if they do beat the Bucks, I had the Bucks winning, but if yeah. the Eagles win and they look like they can flip that switch, yeah. there's no AJ Brown, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I like the Lions, man. The Lions are just a good team. Yeah, no, I do. I do. I do. I just don't know how good this story is going to be. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because the story's already been at its peak. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it is true. And now they, but at the same time, they're just playing fairly, fairless, good football. All right, do you know what? Yeah, I'll stick with you. Lions, 49ers to beat the Packers. I don't see 49ers allowing themselves to get bullied. No. Um, Unless it's the Ravens. <laughs> and yeah. then Ravens, if they face... The Steelers, 100%. Even though that's a divisional game, they always cause yep. them issues. And Ravens against the Texans, probably that would be my favourite game to watch. Yeah, it'd be the game of the week, yeah. I think. They wouldn't bill it as the game of the week. No, because the Chiefs Bills yeah. would be. But. So if that happens, which I think that's very likely, Ravens, and then my Chiefs go to Deji's Buffalo. Bills in Buffalo, don't care about the weather. 
The Chiefs are coming out victorious. Mm. The Chiefs are coming out victorious. Nice. The Kansas However, City Chiefs are coming out I victorious. Think the Bills will come out of that one victorious. It's about time we got a win against you like in the playoffs. That's very true. And I do believe that the Ravens will beat the Texans. Or the Steelers if you guys don't make it. Yeah. We're making it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you guys don't make it, we face the Texans. Yeah. So. And um, I think the 49ers will beat the Packers. Mm-hmm. This one more game. Oh, the Bucks. Bucks or Eagles are going to go to the Lions. Lions will win. But I do... Yeah, Lions, I think Lions will still win anyway. Yeah. Mm. So I just think out of the two, I've got the Bucks beating the Eagles, but the Eagles will cause the Lions more problems. Yeah, the, the yeah. Bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. 100%. It's a matchup. So, it's a... That's what I think anyway. It'll yeah. Be a, interesting one so yes divisional round let's go and then mm-hmm. nfc championship the following week then two week break oh, and then championship games then the two week break and super then, bowl yes, which yes, i have yes. booked off that monday morning because in fact i booked off the whole monday yeah it makes sense i put that off last year <laughs> no matter Ooh, i think i need to book it off as well you know? yeah, it makes if, sense if you're too late you're too late mate but yeah um song of the week oh yes song of the week i could go first Go true. 21 Savage, Red Rum. Okay, for the new album. Yeah. Yes. And he shot that in, in Brixton. Mm-hmm. With in his hometown. Yeah, basically. Um, <laughs> his brother that his brother that got killed last year yeah. or so. Um, with his, like when he was doing his tour here, etc. Um, what I was told by like one of the friends of his brother is that he was actually like chilling with them in the ends. Mm brought them all backstage and everything like they were touring with him I think some of them were going like on the tour bus with him and stuff like that which I when I heard that I was like that's really cool innit? you yeah. get me like you're actually coming to see who your brother's peoples are mm-hmm. and they were in the video innit right so yeah Red Rum it was it was a it's a nice nice song man nice tune nice nice you know? nice my one is from Common ooh I think I love it it's called Go with Mary J. No, that's come close. Go, um, <laughs> uh, how did go go? How does go go? It goes, uh, it's basically echoing go. He, de- de- go Deji knows it, he just doesn't want to sing that. Oh, no, I've, I've definitely heard <laughs> the song. Don't go that high. <laughs> I've definitely heard uh, the song. Cause I mean, I'm, I was, and the instrumental is so sick. Yeah, we'll play it once it's done. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, yeah, it's a good song to be fair. My, now my song of the week just disappeared from my head. Um, my song of the week is Jesus. I had it and then I was thinking about Go. Oh yeah, no, it's um uh, Yusuf Day. Yusuf Day is chasing the drum. This guy. Yeah, Yusuf Day is chasing the drum. That's my Yusuf song. Yusuf Day is chasing the drum. Yeah, Where's this artist week. from? Where's Yusuf Day's from? Yeah, I couldn't tell you where he's from. Oh, but, like, I've um, literally never heard this name. Yeah, Yusuf. Never, right? Yeah, Yusuf Day's. Um, he's um. He's just a sensational artist. Has songs with um, Tom Mish. Gonna another name you're not gonna know either. <laughs> so, yeah. Has songs with Tom Mish. Yeah, but if you um, yeah. <laughs> just threw that out there. Like, yeah, but Do you, nah, know Tom you guys Mish? don't know shit. Yeah. Do you know Tom Mish? No. Oh, okay. Tom Mish is Tom Mish is from London, but Yusuf Day is one of the uh, prolific artists. Man, he's like um, he's like FKJ can play every instrument. French Kiwi Juice, that's FKJ. But yeah. I was just about to say. Yeah, yeah. This Yusuf. guy just name dropped three eyes. I ain't got a Scooby about, yeah. bruv. You said days. The fact that Deji don't as well, that, geez, yeah. these Jesus, are. This is serious. I need to. Chasing the drum. Fair. So, me, 21, Savage, Red Rum, Dej, Come and Go, and Jacob. Yusuf Days, Chasing the Drum. There we go. There we go. That's our song of the weeks. Um, And I think we can wrap it up. Mm-hmm. wrap it up for you folks but you know as always thank you for tuning in thank you for listening we really appreciate it you get me as Dej likes to say tell a friend to tell a friend you get me and Jacob want to check in with like and subscribe yes sir yes sir but we re- like I said we really appreciate it get me um and what we've discussed today I think especially on the card things I might have mentioned at the beginning of the episode um happily throw some responses back to me or to Jacob or to Deji or to any of us on our on any of our um 
TDL pages and stuff like that. Um, it'll be good to hear what you guys have got to say. Um, but yes, Joe, I'm signing out, baby. Bitch, <laughs> I'm signing out. <laughs> I right, put your hoodie down, bro. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> I'm signing out like a human. Imagine <laughs> like a human. <laughs> I'm signing out. Oh, peace. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>